And then, and then if I do go far, yeah, cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, just want to say thank you, Maria, for being able to to jump on and just share a bit of your journey through the 16 week transformation that we that we done together. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear like what what was your what was your reasoning to jump into the program in the first place? Because I would be starting a diet, you know, all gun ho, you know, um, and failing. Simple mm. as that, you know. Yeah. So I'd be on it maybe Monday. If I got past Tuesday night, I was already doing good. If I hadn't caved by Wednesday, a massive victory. But oftentimes I didn't even get as far as Wednesday. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was that continual cycle of disappointment, to be honest with you. And knowing that my goal wasn't even that massive, you know, mm. um, but the the continual disappointment of not sticking at it, really. Yeah, that I thought, listen, these, the, I used to see Elon on YouTube and you just came across so well, you know, um, and I thought, yeah, that's worth a shot. That's yeah. that's worth a shot. It's worth investing in me to try and achieve something I am not succeeding at, you know? Awesome. And over the course of the program, what were some of the things that surprised yourself that you learned? That, you know, um, my resistance. Yeah, the, that really, I had all the excuses in the world, genuine ones, you know, like a busy life, busy home life, working for myself, getting pulled left, right and centre, you know, ad hoc. You, you don't know where it's going to come out of. Um, so I had absolutely every excuse in the book not to stick to things that I might put in as an extra focus, right? Yeah. But really what I learned uh, was, one, how all of that was actually my resistance you know, from old habits and also how I will shelve something for myself quicker than <clears throat> something else that might come under the term of obligation or has to be done, you know. Mm. Um, I mean, there was one particular critical time there, I think around four or five weeks where I injured my shoulder and I was like, oh, yeah, and I had a load of stuff on and it was, I was straight you know, I mean, I think I'd even sent you a text saying, right, that's it. I'm going to give it a miss, come back to it in a month. And that night, well, your text was, let's talk about it tomorrow. And over that night, I was thinking about it myself. And I realized, yeah, that's that's what I do. I, I shelve myself constantly, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, and you might have every reason in the world to do that. But if I see that I'm doing that, then I have every reason in the world to have an honest look at that and put myself back in the equation. Definitely. You know? And I know from my perspective, like that was a massive turning point for yourself, I think, because yeah. there's, again, it's, there's so much resistance at the start doing something for yourself, make, making these changes and believing that yeah. you can actually create change. And then when yeah. we came, when you came back in and it's like recommitted to yourself, like yeah. that was where like so much snowball for yourself, and that's where like you really get stuck in. So it was awesome to see. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And and you know, uh, joining a gym was also a deal breaker. You know, because mm. it turned out if I used a gym in the correct way, sticking to that program you gave me, I was in and out within thirty minutes. So it wasn't somewhere I had to be a lot. You know, yeah. uh, it was something that I could absolutely put into my life. And lo and behold, um, the enjoyment of the results made me like going to the gym. Mm. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. If you were to pick, mm, what will I do tonight? Oh, no, actually, I did actually get so into it that it became a treat. Yeah. It did. It became a treat, you know, and, and the endorphins and, and things like that. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. And it is such a big one. Like, and I think, like, we were talking to about it before, like, we re recorded as well. It's like, as you start bringing brought in the changes for yourself like it it's a step-by-step -step process like okay. and by, by looking at that things in that step-by-step -step process and by having like a system to follow it just makes it so much easier yeah and, less, and less the daunting. accountability 
Mm. You know, without a doubt, no one knew we're going to be popping up on the screen <laughs> <laughs> once a week. Um, well, it, I suppose it put it on a level of, you know, things in my life that I'm responsible for, mm. you know, and and it's almost a sad thing to say that, you know, on a personal level, you need to be accountable to somebody else. And in a way, that is what I'm saying. Um, but that that is what it is and it was hugely helpful and also the fact that like on the days that I was struggling emotionally or I might have had a week that was emotionally very difficult uh, the fact that you could go there with me Finn was mm. huge do you know what I mean because there was no point in me showing up to talk to you and going yeah everything's gone and I'm in a feckin' heap, you know? Um, the fact that I could be honest with you, with that could be got out of the way, got off my chest in, <clears throat> you know, in relation to what we were doing. Um, yeah. And then come back to what we were doing, you yeah. know? And whether that had to be scaled slightly differently, given the presenting challenges, but that, that those, um, that the plan didn't constantly go out the window you know yeah. it, it was reframed and reworked and okay so if you've got all this going on this week what about just keeping your focus on that 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 and and yeah it was great and yeah um yeah I think, I think that's one of the big things it's like i love when people come to me and clients come to me about life has just gone absolutely crazy of like I haven't done this and that and it's like I love being able to support people there because that's real life whereas like yeah. if you go through a program and you get through like a 16 week pre- program on Steve without big any big life events happening and stuff like that a lot of times you don't really learn much about yourself with that because yeah. it's what happens to you when you're faced with the challenges and how you're able to learn to adapt and pivot and re and re yeah. reframe things for yourself in the thick of it yeah. you're going to gain so much from that and like i yeah. think that's something that's so important to be able to see and again that, yeah. that's that's what shows was like the program it's not just about having like a nutritional plan and an exercise program to follow it's taking in all elements of life into that and teaching you how to adapt that and pivot where, when's needed yeah without a doubt like I mean I, I said it to you many times I, I felt absolutely blessed to be working with you because you know there were quite a lot of those challenges throughout the 16 weeks yeah. uh, and and yeah you, you were cool with it you know it wasn't just all heart uh, all head you know and it also wasn't a, a pity me session or anything like that either it was just feckin' real yeah. It's real, you know, yeah. and and with that, with realness, you can go anywhere, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I I definitely picked the right people without realizing, and little did I even realize <laughs> that you were going to be listening to all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you know, like really, <clears throat> when I embarked on it, I just thought, okay, this fella is saying. I, I fit what he's talking about. You know, I'm a middle-aged woman. I'm not busy. I've got a mental belly and I've got this, that and the other and I want them gone. But there was probably a part of me that just thought he's the man for the job and I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, through the course of the program, yeah, it became it became evident that it was uh, where do I involve myself proactively for myself and what help do I need to do that you know yeah Yeah. Yeah. and that's the thing like and that's taking that holistic approach to it like it's like you're learning how to to make it adapt for yourself so it's a lifelong process it's not just a matter of here's a plan that you follow for 16 weeks to get your x results and then you go back to do what you're already doing it's it's looking as like how can you equip yourself to manage and deal with life as an ongoing basis yeah yeah, because one of the other benefits would have been as well <clears throat> that having myself more factored into my schedule, mm. I felt better with that alone. I had yeah. more of a foundation in my own life, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was a, another big part, really. Yeah, awesome, amazing, cool. Thank you so much for for sharing that. Yeah. Well, we we mentioned that I actually gave up smoking as well. Oh, oh yes, yes. 
definitely <laughs> talking to Dublin. I could be forget yeah. about that big, big one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that was also like joining up with Jews was sort of phase one of what was a plan for me for this year. The, the a huge step was giving up smoking. Um, I, but and I just thought get myself healthy before it, um, and that's what I managed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and give up smoking, which ha- oh, of course happened fairly organically through getting sick, you know. Mm. Um, but just with what I had learned with yourself over the good few weeks of, um, even how I approached giving up smoking was quite different. So I I took the help that I could get along the way. I took um the patches, um even non-smoking group which was free and things like that and Mm. and was able to treat it as um this could take a while and this could be a road that goes like that you know but so be it because it's the destination and each one of them if you're staying on the road you're doing good anyway you know so yeah yeah, and again, like with that one, it's like it's been such a big journey for you. Is like in that step by step process, whereas before yeah. trying to like rip the bandaid off and go cold turkey yeah. and stuff like that, and then fall yeah. back and, and yeah. then just feed that, just feeds um, the old story, it feeds the old story. Yeah. It's like, oh, I can't do this, and the smoker, I can't do this. Yeah. Whereas you're yeah. not going to know, like it's, yeah, you're yeah. doing amazing. Uh, well, thank you so much. Couldn't have done it without you. I can no, honestly I... say, you know, you were a huge, huge part of it all. So thank you so much, you know. Yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. You've you've done amazing with it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.